Guys, welcome back to Frontier Safaris. It's been three years since we last been here in the height of COVID-19. It's awesome to be back. We just opened up our account with dual Impala shots across the valley. I'm running the new Impact 4000 Ballistic Rail Mounted Laser Rangefinder. That is a mouthful, say that 10 times fast. More on this in a separate video, but yeah, just use it to successfully take my first animal of the day and uh, worked as it was supposed to, which is fantastic. So let's walk across this valley and uh, Go pick him up. Those things work very like an ounce. Yeah. So we're gonna be fine. I don't think there's enough wind. Yeah, we'll just shoot them at like half a K. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try get two impala yes, cogs here. We're gonna see if we can get some meat on the bucky. I was gonna try and get to about two hundred. Mm. I can't be it's a drop. Oh my god. This was only a two-day hunt for us. That means as soon as we recovered an animal, we were immediately searching for the next one. Distance? Uh, 280. There's no wind. Got him. Reload. He's blood. Nice. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Add two clicks for me. Yeah. Yes, I see her. Reload. 
Nice squirt skunk. Shooting. So Skulk's been absolutely smashing the last couple of shots. One confidence boost at 80 meters. Uh, 80, yeah. And then after that, it's been headshot, headshot mm. at... To 80, yeah. Now, in this terrain, you do not want to look for something. Mm -mm. It's very um, thick bush and yeah. it's two seconds, you don't see them anymore. Yeah. You don't know which way they turn. And... Yeah, and I don't like thick bush. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I like them to drop there. That's yeah. the, Clean. the goal always, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it makes makes. I think, especially shooting a lighter caliber on the yeah on the body, you always have that chance of yeah. it running too far. It's maybe dead, but you don't find it. Yeah, so, yeah. In this stuff, it just disappears. So, yeah, lekker. So we're gonna make our way back. I'm itching a little mm. bit now. Yeah, you got oh. four turns now. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to send by using Gapa. Okay, sharp, sharp. Got him. Yep. Yeah, the next time it's it's coming soon to. Uh, <laughs> Barbecue near you. <laughs> it's an absolute privilege to hunt a property like Frontier Safaris. The lodge is situated on a beautiful cliffside, and everything you see is fair game. End of day one, I closed the show on two perfect management ramps. These guys are exactly why we are here. So when you're looking at them, Paul, obviously this is not a genetic we want. You can see the male's not 100% old yet, but next year he'll be breeding and he's not going to grow anymore. So this thing of them touching is a no-go for genetic wise. This ram has got nice length. Also good mass, you can see he's got secondary growth already, so as an old male he's not going to breed next year. But coming to the shape, you either want a ram that's parallel or flaring, I mean that's flaring rams are very very rare. But nevertheless this is a trophy, but like we will maybe one day take a video of a couple tag rams. We've got very very good quality rams, this ram is past breeding age and now I need to become a citizen of Cape Town and become a pot member. So. Put him on the grill. Good morning, day two. It's gonna be a good day. Look at this. What the hell? It's stunning. This lodge is on this cliff face. It's like a hundred meters to the bottom there. There's more rooms over there. Wow, wow, wow. That pretty much sums this up. It's still very early. I'm standing by a little light here. Hopefully the light's not too bad for you guys. Today we're off to more Impala. Now the good news for you guys is they had a ton of rain here. And the Impala numbers have skyrocketed. I think this facility is 75,000 acres. It's mega. Okay. And they've got Impala packages available for international hunters and local hunters here in South Africa. So if you're interested in one of these and we can hook you guys up with the packages because they're very limited. But this is going to be a banger. So without further ado, let's go get breakfast and then find some Impala. This is never the best thing to find when you're hunting. Ostrich eggs. And if you don't know what happens when you mess or get too close to ostrich eggs, especially when you don't see the daddy ostrich or the mommy ostrich, things can escalate very quickly. So I'm going to move off away from those right about now. So 
Some fun facts about this property as we look over this valley here. It is close to 80,000 acres now, which is mega. Zero internal fences. No side farming business where there's agricultural stuff like that. Because a lot of farms, and I get that because it is a business, very few places can survive off just hunting. But this is what they do here at Frontier Safaris. It's a pure hunting farm probably about as close that we will ever get in South Africa to public land hunting because as far as the eye can see those ridges over there those mountains everything is their property it is ridiculously cool and uh, yeah what a morning to be out looking for animals we've got the team grabbing some footage over there so I just walked off to tell you guys a little bit of trivia about this place also, another fun fact, the Birchall Zebra is a species of Zebra, Zebra, Zebra. That's actually named after the family, because this is the Birchall family property. And um, yeah, so that gives you sort of an idea of the legacy that this place holds. Very, very cool. Anyway, let's go look for some Impala, shall we? It's a ram, is it? Do you want me to shoot the ram? Watch it now. Do you want me to whistle so they stop? Do you want me to drag that one? Yeah, you can shoot it. Boy pit. Just load up the game, man. Take off on him. Well done. Okay, open up our account. Unfortunately, Skulk didn't have a shot. I had a shot. 250, what was it? 230 ish odd out of the tripod, sitting sort of like a kneeling position. Dropped. Let's go get out. We're gonna leave the guns here and just carry her. Yeah, that'll be. Or we can even call the. I'll call them Zonk and them. Okay. Radio, and they'll bring the bucky. Okay, awesome. Dus ik ook zeg, toch? Hey, andere man. Dus ik zie je There's one looking at the back which I can shoot. Yeah, and there's one that's eating broadside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three, two, one. 
Wow. Mijn is mes. Mijn alleen? Ja, mijn is mes. Thanks. Because they fall differently when Well done, Fred. Well done, Jim. Yeah, but what's going on, eh? Yeah. Kick was weird, awkward. The other way she fell off. Okay, bro. Two for two. It's all right. So we just got a beautiful shot over this valley on this view, sort of half past 11, 20 past 11. We're doing much better than we did yesterday. Doing well to thin out the numbers. Absolutely perfect conditions for this type of shooting. Skalk and I were going prone and like a backup shooter and uh, I absolutely drilled mine. And we can see her there and I'll show you guys sort of how this looks across the valley now. What a freaking morning to be shooting, holy moly. It's always a freaking fantastic time. As I said guys, there's gonna be a link down below this video where you can book your culling package like we're doing now at Frontier Safaris. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be in camp with you guys. So I look forward to, I look forward to that. A few of these animals were slightly further than we'd normally shoot, so we put double the lead in the air to double our chances. High speed, low drag. Okay, smile, gentlemen. Say 12 mil. 12 mil. <laughs> This next ram was the perfect example. I went slightly high over his head, skulks perfect round on the vitals, dropped him behind that bush. Every time a hunt ends and I start making my way home, I reflect on the memories and the adventures shared throughout the course of the hunt. This one was no exception. The camaraderie and friendship between myself, Skulk, my brother and Fred was undeniable. We had great laughs and an absolute blast at Frontier Safaris. reflect on the awesome shots as well as the ones that got away. <laughs>